On this channel, I talk a lot about free roaming rabbits, but arguably the hardest part about free roaming is protecting your home from their chewing, specifically your baseboards. Rabbit's teeth never stop growing, so they constantly have the urge to chew. And do you know what's at their eye level and looks like the perfect toy? Baseboards. So I decided to test the top three methods to protecting baseboards from rabbit teeth. And to do that, I needed to take a little trip to Lowe's. So today I'm gonna to be testing out three different baseboard protection methods. And to do that, I am going to install this baseboard into Cinnabon's room specifically for her to chew. I'm going to use the packing tape method, covering the baseboards with packing tape. I'm going to use the bumper method, covering the baseboards with these clear plastic bumpers. And I'm going to test rabbit safe, no chew spray. All right, so here's how this is going to work. I am going to cut this baseboard into four equal pieces. Three of them are gonna be for testing out methods, and one is going to be the control piece. I'm going to use command strips to install the control board in her room for a few days just to see how she chews a regular baseboard with no protection. And then I'm going to switch the control board for a bunny-proofed board every couple of days and see which one protects the board most. So enough of me talking about it, let's get started with this experiment. Okay, so I have installed the baseboard. I just used some command strips to stick it right over here next to Cinnabon's litter box. My hope here is that it's close to where she is often and because it juts out, it's going to be very appetizing for her to chew on. So we'll give it like a day or so, see if we get any marks and then we'll review. So once I set up her control, I sat and I waited and waited and waited but she was showing no interest in the baseboard whatsoever. So I had a new idea. So I pulled out some laxatone, which is a digestive supplement I give her every once in a while, but it tastes really good. So I spread some laxatone on the control board and I decided that I'm gonna spread this on all of the boards to tempt her to chew it and see how well the protection is actually protecting against her chewing. That definitely did the trick. So the first method I wanna try out is the packing tape method. This method is super simple. You just take some regular packing tape and cover your baseboards. I've used this method before and it's great because you can hardly see the tape at all and I found it to be pretty effective, but let's find out if it's the most effective. Once again, I attached the baseboard to the wall and added some laxatone on top to tempt her and then we waited to see if those little teeth made some marks. My next method of protection are these plastic bumpers. I got these on Amazon and they're for putting on sharp edges of your furniture to protect your babies from bumping into it. However, I've been using them to protect my furniture from Cinnabon's teeth. I have really been enjoying these and found them to be really effective, so I'm curious to see if they're better than tape. One thing I wanna note about these bumpers is I've been using them for over a year now and even though she chews on them, she leaves the plastic behind. She is not ingesting the plastic. I just wanted to make sure you knew that I wasn't actively feeding Cinnabon plastic. I found these have been really effective on my furniture, so let's see how they work on baseboards. Next up is this Rabbit Safe No Chew Spray. This one's pretty simple. You just spray it right on the baseboard and it's supposed to keep your rabbit from wanting to chew on it because it's a smell and taste that isn't super yummy to them. I will say that since I'm covering it with laxatone, it'll be interesting to see if Cinnabon's desire for the laxatone taste overcomes her like hatred of the bitter taste. So while it's not really gonna protect the wood itself, let's see if it keeps her from wanting to actually chew on the wood or if it makes no difference whatsoever. 
Okay, so we are done with our experiment. It has been four days and it is time to review how well these methods worked. The way that I'm going to rank this is I'm gonna have three different categories that we're gonna rank one Cinnabon out of five Cinnabons. The categories are going to be cost, how much it is, if it's cheap, if it's expensive, overall appearance, so just like how it looks on your baseboards, and then effectiveness, how well it really protects from the chewing. And then hopefully by the end, we can have one that has the highest score and that will be the Cinnabon approved method of baseboard protection. So let's take a peek at our controls so we can kind of see what our baseline is. I mean, this board, it's completely destroyed. It was just a couple of bite marks and boom, it is ruined. So if you're looking at this, if you don't protect your baseboards, this could happen to your baseboards. It's not great, it looks terrible, so this is what we're going for for our baseline, and let's see how well the other methods protected. Let's start with the tape method. I am very, very impressed with this method overall. I actually used this in my last apartment. I kept it up for a year, and I remember I did not get charged a single thing when I moved out of that apartment, because everything looked good. As far as cost goes, I think this is the most affordable option of the three. A thing of packing tape costs like four or five dollars, and there is a lot of tape in there, so you you can't go wrong there. So honestly, for cost, I'm gonna give this five Cinnabons out of five. Overall appearance, I think it also looks really good. If you are standing a couple of feet away, you can't even see the tape. Of course, the closer you get, if you really look at it, it can look a little messy having tape on all of your baseboards. But I would say as a general whole, it looks pretty good and it's not super noticeable. So I'm gonna give the appearance three Cinnabons out of five. And then for overall effectiveness, I am really shocked actually at how well this worked. I don't really see any marks on this board at all. Of course, it was only up for a day, but you saw the footage. Cinnabon was going at it. And if you look at the footage back of when I put the laxatone on the board, instead of like biting at it because the tape was there, she was much more likely to lick on the board instead of bite because she's not interested in chewing that kind of texture. As opposed to the regular board, she just chewed and gnawed right away. But with the tape there, she didn't seem interested in actually chewing it. So not only did it protect from the few bites she made, it just made her not want to chew it overall. So this board, when I took the tape off, there were no marks on the the board, but I will say, be aware of in my last apartment when I took the tape off, there were a couple points where if the paint wasn't super strong, the tape did remove some paint, but that wasn't a problem for me. I just repainted it. But just keep that in mind if you do this, that if you keep your tape on for a long period of time, it might pull some tape off over time. But in our experiment, it didn't pull anything off. So I am gonna give the effectiveness four Cinnabons out of five. And the only reason I'm deducting one point is because of my prior experience where when I removed the tape, it removed some of the paint. But this was extremely effective and I'm really, really impressed. So that makes our overall score 12 out of 15 points, which is a really tough one to beat right off the top. Okay, let's move on to the plastic bumpers. This is a really great thing that I use to protect against really nice furniture. And once again, if you look back at the footage, Cinnabon was much more likely to just lick the board instead of chew it because this kind of material isn't something she really likes to chew. But as far as cost goes, this is definitely the most costly of everything. I think that a roll comes with about 30 feet and each roll is like $15. So that's not that much. You're gonna have to buy a couple of rolls to cover your baseboards. So as far as cost goes, I am going to give this two out of five Cinnabons. It's not the most expensive thing in the world, but there are definitely cheaper options. For appearance, I don't think this looks super great either. It's clear, which is nice, so from far, far away, you don't really notice it, but I definitely think it's more noticeable than the tape. So I think I'm gonna give this a two out of five for appearance as well. Now, as far as effectiveness goes, there are no marks whatsoever from Cinnabon chewing. Again, she wasn't super interested in chewing it, period, with this type of bumper up, and anything she did take a bite out of did not leave a mark. But what was interesting is so to apply these bumpers, it comes with this like gooey tape glue thing that you lay down first. And when I took it off, it was really difficult to get the glue up. But just on my initial pass through, it was really hard to get everything up and it left some marks behind. It even pulled up some of the paint and left some marks. So while it was really effective against her teeth, I'm gonna give this three out of five Cinnabons because as I was taking it up, it seems to still leave some marks behind and it's really difficult to get completely off. So our grand total for the bumpers is seven out of 15. All right, the last option was the no chew spray. Now I will say my results might be a little skewed here because since this is like a flavor that they don't want to chew, covering it with laxatone might have covered up that flavor. So I think take this all with a grain of salt. But I did want to test the overall chew effectiveness, so let's move forward. As far as cost goes, I would say this is in the middle of the cost. I think this cost about 
$18 for the spray and it comes with a ton of spray. So I am going to say that the cost, let's say three out of five. It's still almost $20 just for a thing of spray, but it'll last for a while. Next up is appearance. I mean, I have to give this five Cinnabons out of five Cinnabons. It's a spray, it's a clear spray. You cannot see it at all. If you coat all of your baseboards in this, no one would ever know. So this is a five out of five for me. But as far as effectiveness goes, I mean, this looks just like the control board to me. There's no effectiveness against the chewing. It might keep your bunny from being interested in it, but clearly it didn't do that much because I put a little bit of laxatone right on top and Cinnabon, she went for it. So as far as effectiveness goes, I have to give this one out of five Cinnabons. So my overall score for the spray is eight out of 15. But I will say for the spray, I think that this can be a really good thing to have and especially bring with you if you're going out of town. It can be a really easy way to bunny proof and it will keep your rabbit from being interested in chewing something for a short period of time. My fear with the spray is that over time it would wear off or your rabbit will just eventually get curious and wanna chew. But if you're traveling somewhere and you just wanna bunny proof it for like a couple of days, I think the spray could be effective in just keeping your rabbit uninterested. All right, so it looks like our clear winner here is the tape. I'm actually really shocked that our rankings go tape, then spray, then bumpers, but I just think that the tape option is such a great and easy option. It's very cost effective. You can hardly see it and it really does work. So there you have it. That's the tea. It looks like the packing tape method is our favorite way of protecting your baseboards. Let me know how you enjoyed this new series and comment down below what I should bunny proof bust next. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in our next one. Bye buns.